Hello YouTube, just wanted to welcome you back to another episode of Denoy vs. The Tree. As you can see, um, we managed to actually cut through, I, I figured out how to work the chainsaw now. <laughs> and I've cut through two of the major um, roots, as well as one little one there, one little minor one I cut through to try to help to kill the tree. But you can see it's kind of overgrown here. There's all these bush, the, the grass is overgrown. The grass here grows really fast. I've been cutting it like once a week, but it's still growing because it's rain, raining every day. Well, it's got all these vines. I don't know if that's poison ivy. What kind of vines are these? But I heard that poison ivy can change its appearance. You know, even how the leaves and stuff look, but, or poison oak. I don't know. But I can't cut with all these vines here. So, uh, for today, I am going to try to pull these vines off. That way I can at least see what I'm looking at. And then, ah, Mr. Lizard here. Mr. Lizard, you're about to lose your home. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Did you see him jump? Wow. But you can see there's all sorts of um, dirt and sand and little pieces of rock and stuff embedded in here. And um, that's very bad for the chainsaw. You're not supposed to cut through dirt or sand because it'll dull the blade right away. So, I have to get all this dirt and sand out. I tried uh, poking it out before with the stick. That's not going to work. I might try broom, but I don't think that's going to work. I think the best thing is going to be water. So, at this point, we're in process of trying to get a long hose and then a, you know, a sprayer tip to spray this down. And that will be the next thing I have to do before I try to cut some more of these um, root systems. Because you can't cut through with dirt. But before that, I'm going to remove all this... Um, green stuff on here. The, that's not the plant. That's some kind of vine that grows on here. And because it's rainy season, it's grown. You can see this pile is actually piles from the roots and other stuff that I have cut off previously and just dumped here. But it's also overgrown now. It's hard to get into it. And this is what it looks like on this end. You can see that plant, that the vine stuff is everywhere. And the tree is trying to stay alive. Wow, there's some kind of berries on those things. I don't know what those, those look, oh, I just heard something. It's got this little yellow berries. I wonder if they're edible. I don't know where those berries are coming, if it's coming from this plant, the tree itself. It's these guys, these little bush. So I don't know if that's part of the tree, trying to grow a new tree where it touched the ground. But obviously the tree doesn't want to die. I feel kind of sad cutting it because, um, there's something there making noises. I don't know if you heard that again. It's something big. I don't think it's the dog. It's the neighbor's dog over there. Anyhow, I'm gonna go ahead and start working on the, um, the vines and um, I guess I'll go ahead and record it for those of you who are interested in watching me work. <laughs> Okay, we're going to start removing the vine just to clear up the tree. I pray that's not poison oak or ivy. You can see uh, bits of leaves growing from the tree itself trying to survive. And with all the rain, I think it's um, been receiving all this nourishment, so it's, you know, thriving actually. Maybe this stuff is called kazu. You know that stuff that they said got introduced? And it goes crazy on all the, the trees and plants around um, 
Georgia, South Carolina. I don't know if it's South Carolina, Louisiana. Maybe even Florida now. Maybe it might be Kazu. I don't know if you can tell what it is by looking at it, but this is what the leaves look like. And it's like a, some kind of vine. I think it's kazu, but maybe I'm wrong. If you know, please let me know. There's even grass growing up there. I'm starting to itch. I don't know if you can see how overwhelming this is. <laughs> One piece at a time, right? Look at how much of this stuff there is. There's like everywhere.
It's everywhere. All right, I think I did this part enough. We're gonna go ahead and come to the front here. I don't know if you call this a front. I call it the front. It's the uh, root system here, and we're gonna try to pull from here. Let's see if we can't get this area somewhat cleared off here. Let's set this camera. I'm gonna try to pull all this off so I can actually see what I'm trying to cut. I don't know if you heard that noise right there, that little rat-a-tat-tat-tat-tat sound. I think that was one of those little lizards that just fell into the air conditioning. That's a lizard getting chopped up in the AC. I think there was something in here. A lizard probably fell in there and got cut to bits. I found one the other day, it was all kind of chopped up. So, anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and um, stop today, stop filming. I think I've done enough damage. I might go ahead and finish removing the rest of this kazu or whatever it is. I'm calling it kazu. But I think I might try to remove the rest of it. But um, I don't think you guys are going to be that interested in watching me um, basically pull weed. <laughs> well... Until next time, everybody, I want to thank you for tuning in. I hope you're all having a good day. Thank you all for your suggestions. Any thoughts on um, things I can do here to speed up the process and stay safe would be greatly appreciated. Uh, until next time, take care, everybody.